All right, and welcome back. We are going to talk about the final unit that we're going to study this year. And this unit takes us back into uh, algebra and into graphing or into equations. So we are now dealing with systems of equations, and we're going to solve them by graphing. Okay, so a system of equations, a system of equations is two equations that intersect at one point. Most of the time. There are going to be some times where they don't, uh, but we'll get to those special cases in the future. But the majority of the time is a system of equations is two equations that intersect at one point. The next statement, it says the blank is the blank where the two lines blank. So the solution is the point where the two lines intersect. Another word for intersect is cross. So let's look at our first example. We're going to have four examples. And again, always have lots of different colors. I have three different highlighters that I'm going to use today. Uh, I want to have a straight edge because we are going to be graphing. You want to have a nice straight line, especially with systems of equations. You really want to have that straight line. So these are the tools that I'm going to use today. So you should have them with you. Uh, and as we look at this, I'm going to look at the orange line. It's a horizontal line, and it's going through the y-axis at a positive 3. I'm going to write down my first equation is y equals three. And I uh, just want to write that down just so you see that equation. The next equation that we're looking at has got three distinct points, one, two, three. And the point right here is called your y-intercept. And uh, the y-intercept is, uh, is our letter B. So our B is one, and then our slope, uh, we go up two to the right three. So our slope, which is M, would be a positive two, excuse me, yeah, two-thirds. Rise over run. Rise two, run three. Rise two, run three. All three points would be on the line. So our equation for that one is y equals two-thirds x plus one. Now it asks for the solution. And the solution is the point where the two lines intersect. Well, it is apparent that this point is the where the orange and green lines intersect. And the coordinates of this point are 3 over and 3 up. So our solution is 3, 3. Make sure you put it in a parentheses to show that that is a point. Okay, if you do not have parentheses, you cannot prove that it's a point. And that's all we're going to be doing. We're going to be looking for graphing one or two lines and figuring out where they cross. Okay, let's try it on the next one. On the next one, we have two equations. With my two equations, I always write my slope and my y-intercept. And my slope is a negative 2 over 1. My y-intercept is 1. In this one, my slope is 3 over 1, and my y-intercept is negative 4. So let's start by graphing the first one. We have a positive 1 and my slope of negative 2 down 2, right 1 down two, right one, down two, right one. When I graph these, I want to put every single point on this line because I know that one of these points is going to be the solution. And then I'm going to draw, take my straight edge, and I'm going to draw the line. Once you get the first line, the second line should be easier because we know that one of these points is going to be the same most of the time. Again, I'm going to say most of the time because not all the time. My y-intercept here is 4. We always start with on the y-axis down 1, 2, 3, 4 at a negative 4. And then my slope is 3 over 1. So rise over run. Rise 3, 1, 2, 3 to the right 1. And that right there, I'm going to do it one more time. 1, 2, 3 to the right 1. But I didn't even have to do that point because I have found my solution, and my solution is this point right there. And the coordinates of that point are positive 1, negative 1. So my solution for those two equations, positive 1, negative 1. Okay, the third 
example that we're going to do. Again, I'm going to take my key information. My slope is one half. Now this is a point slope, so it has a starting point and not a y-intercept. Remember, it's the opposite of our x and the opposite of our y. So this starting point is 2, negative 2, if you remember the formula. On the bottom one, our slope intercept, our slope is negative 1 half, and our y intercept is positive 1. If you don't remember these equations, you should go back and check out the graphing equations from the first semester videos. Okay, and for our starting point, positive 2, negative 2, and our slope 1 half, so up 1 to the right 2, rise 1, run 2, and since we can't go, we'll go in the opposite direction, down 1, left 2, down 1, left 2, and down 1, left 2. Again, we want to get every single point that is provided on the coordinate plane because we know that one of these is going to be our answer. When I look at my second equation, my slope is negative 1 half. My starting point is positive 1, so positive 1. And then I go down 1 to the right 2. Oh, I see I'm going in the right direction, down 1 to the right 2. And that will be my solution, right there. And the coordinates of that point are 1, 2, 3, 4. So positive 4 on your x value, negative 1 on my y value. Okay, for the last example, the fourth example, I would like you to do this one on your own. I'll give you a little bit of help. We'll say that the slope is 3 over 2. Your y-intercept is a negative 1. Your slope is a negative 1 half. And your y-intercept is 3. Okay, finish that one up. If you have any questions, if you're uncertain about graphing, go back and check earlier videos for point slope or slope intercept. Graphing those equations. See you tomorrow in class.